Hello, fellow Shades. I'm your host, Shiloh Witty, and Connor's not here, because this is the day before we record. Um, mostly for background context. Uh, the reason why is because I have an episode of Just Hangout Events, and I got permission from him to do this without him around, so we're gonna do this today. Uh, starting with Saizo, and just going down the list as I, as, uh, I do it. By the way, Lena's really one of a kind lady, huh? Huh? <laughs> Lena? Lena who? You know a Lena? What? Whoa, relax. I mean Lena from Yang Yang Palace. Obviously, you don't remember her? <sighs> oh, right, yeah. Of course you mean her. You, uh, you're so weird, Saizo. Anyway, plenty of people in the Devil Summoner community seem strange, but Lena's especially mysterious. Hey. I wonder where she gets all her wares. You okay? Hello? Earth to Saizo, you feeling okay? Uh, sorry, I <laughs> just got a shiver down my spine. Yeah, I can try to, I, uh, try to stay away from her. I'm, I'm kind of got some history. What? What? With Lena? <sighs> yeah, see, I signed up to her. To help, uh, signed up to help her restock a little while back. It was just supposed to be a quick and easy delivery, but, but then... <sighs> Yeah. Hey, Saizo! Sorry, it's not sorry, not like me to get all freaked out like that. But long story short, that whole mess almost got me killed by Ash even before all the Covenant stuff. I'm curious. What? No, what? No details? You got me super curious now. Don't forget. <laughs> Listen, Ringo. Sure, some things in this world you can afford to be curious about, and some other things are better left untouched. And this, this one's the latter. Don't be, don't go chasing your curiosity, because once Pandora's box gets open, there's no going back. Hmm. Aww. L look, okay, the point is, we're done talking about this. Am I clear? Dude, don't bring this up ever again, promise me. Uh... Promise me! Okay, okay! Arrow? Arrow? Say, Arrow, any reason you, you're you slow out in the field? What? You're, you're so slow in the field. What? Let me be clear. I mean, we are a team for now, so I won't do... I won't do to... It won't do to have you dragging your feet... Feet all the time. No. think you're just moving too fast. That's wrong. No, you're too slow. What? Give me a break, seriously. Had I not backed you up that one time, you'd have been... I didn't ask for your help. <sighs> hey, uh, you... Uh, you... I'm throwing it in the towel. Ta er, wait. Oh, the bartender. Hey, Hughes, I'm throwing in the towel. Tag in. <laughs> they both seem like they're having... they're having fun to me. Huh? Huh? You're joking, right? Just look at them. Three trace bros? Just between us. I've known both of them since before that you started coming here. And I don't think I've ever seen them that so lively until now. What? What? Milby, I get, but wasn't Arrow usually here with Kamaragi? Mm. He was, 
But this seems different. Your relationship was a special one, after all. Arrow and Kaburagi were both lonely, even together. Granted, I'm sure they had partners and teammates they looked up to. But still, I don't think either of them had any friends, no rivals to head but but mm, no rivals to butt heads with, you know? Mm, rivals? <laughs> Come on, Yadagras's little puppy, bite back. <sighs> what, uh, Melody, uh, idiot. Wretches. Real wordsmith, aren't you? <laughs> Friends, huh? No. Welcome. Wrong button. Hey. Hey, hey, Arrow Mildy. If you were to have a pet dog. How many would you want? What is it? Huh? I don't want a dog, so zero. Right. Same here, I'm barely scrapping by as it is, so I wouldn't have the time nor energy. Haha! <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's just a hypothetical. Don't think too hard about it. True. Well, in that case, I suppose two would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say two, two. That way, I'm, if I'm ever out on a mission, at least they'd have each other. So why the question? Um, uh, no. So why the sudden question? Are you planning on surprising us with a dog back at the safe house or something? Nope. No? Ah, it's just a common psychology, psychological experiment. <sighs> Uh. Actually, I picked up on this psychology book when we were out exploring. Thought it might find a way to help you two get along. Arrow. Arrow, you went along with whatever I said, didn't you? What? Huh? Why would I do that? For crying out loud, ha I known that Ringo's... What? Er, that's why Ringo is asking. I would have given him... Bit more thought. I get it. I see, I see. Well, since you both gave the same answer, I guess. You two? That's not it. Let me stop you there. Ringo? Ringo, ask us another question. Sure. Mm, okay. Uh, you've decided to build a house. What color do you make the roof? Humility. Let's a let's let's answer on three, Melody. True. I agree, Ringo. You do the countdown. One, two. Come on. You're not even gonna answer. Can we talk? Look, Ringo, you may not understand this because you're still new to this whole being human thing, but we're not so simple that we, that you can figure us out with just a few slips of flips through a book. I thought I can though I can't speak for our protein pact, ne Neanderthal over, ne Neanderthal over here. What? Are you talking about me? <laughs> oh, look at that! He's self-aware! I got this. Aware enough to end the fight with the, the Phantom Society right now. You guys. That's enough, you two. Flash, the comp's here, and... Well, I'm sure I don't have to tell you. <sighs> 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 Uh, well, that was a bust. If anything, I think I might have made things worse. Welcome. Uh. 
I don't think so. What are you talking about, Mildy? You have, have you even tried uh, their soup? It's the best thing on their menu. No. You're such an old man. Of course you would fixate on the sat saltiness thing. The saltiest thing there. I don't know why anyone would go there for anything but the curry. Hmm? Huh? What's going- What got you two worked up? Something wrong about that- with that guy? Saizo? Yeah, we burst down on our toes. What? Huh? What are you talking about? He just looks like a regular guy to me. Nope. Think again. That guy oh, that guy was bad news. Listen, Rango. If you can't tell someone's a threat, someone's threat level at a glance, then you're still an amateur. I get it. That's badass! I bet that takes uh, some serious skills. What? What? You th what you think so pretty given pretty normal for to me feels pretty normal to me. So it's just intuition then. Being bad feelings about a situation, I always have trouble with stuff you can't really quantify. Well, here's the hoping I can keep learning from. Uh. Whoa, you two are on edge. I got the impression you two were on top of your game. It's so... it's weird seeing you so paranoid. Keep your guard up. Please, I'm nowhere near the top of the food chain. The further up in the ranks you go, the more you... No way! What? Again? How many times... how many of them are there? Yeah, I'll... Uh, got a lot of big players out today. Madam Ginko did just put out put out a request to take out some dark summoners, so So there's a good chance they're being targeted by Targeted by some uh by another faction or something wrong. Or uh something wrong? Come on! Ugh! I'm just getting annoyed! If nobody's going to finish their sentences, then I'm out of here! Guess that's true. Yeah, probably for the best. Hard to enjoy a drink in the middle of a mess like this. Don't forget it. Just remember, Rango, this is what it's like to be a summoner. Huh. Uh-huh. Sure. Welcome. Hey, Saizo, you're a freelancer, right? What kind of jobs do you usually take? Huh? Um, uh, mostly, uh, mostly the kinds that you'd find at Madame Ginko's well, uh, place. Though sometimes I get an odd one, like having to track down a dog or something. There's been some crazy ones, too. Like, this one time I was just given a smartphone and the orders were sent to me on that. I was told to pick up this stone and take it somewhere else. What? A stone? That's weird. Pretty much. The pay was good, but to this day I still have no idea what that job was about. Well... I imagine the NDA on that now it's expired by now. Actually. For that request, we were making a large summoning circle. Or oh, we were shorthand at the time, so we gathered freelancers to help us to help us out. You were one of the grunts and we commissioned. We needed people with spiritual power to follow specific steps and follow the stones around the city. Although, in the end, the Yanagarasu interfered, and the plans were ruined. 
And since the ritual was only partly finished, we ended up summoning something truly bizarre. Iron Mask and I had to go through a lot of trouble to get rid of that nightmare. We fought, uh, fought for nearly three days and three nights. I heard more than a hundred summoners were killed because of that. Had our plan succeeded, the city wouldn't be here anymore. Oh, man. Whoa, sounds like a, something out of a movie. <laughs> well, if we'd done it right, that movie would have had been a trilogy. Not that you'd ever, not that you'd ever be credited. I don't believe it. I had no idea. That's usually the case, surprisingly. Let me be clear. The Yadagarasu and Phantom are both have their hands on the government strings. Mount Fuji could erupt, and they'd still and they'd still be able to cover it up if they wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I can't deny that uh, that's kind of actually uh, terrifying. So, what uh, exactly were you guys trying to do with the big summoning circle? I don't care. No clue. I'm not even sure Iron Mass had the full picture. In the end, we were just slowly grunts ourselves. I wonder what Ion thought of, uh, thought of that. Mm. I wonder what Ion thought of that. Couldn't tell you. But I'm guessing they probably knew. Fig and I hadn't been created yet, so they probably... It, there probably wasn't any danger of humanity being wiped out. And clearly that didn't happen anyway. So if you're here now, Ringo, does that mean... What? Yeah, we're in, we're in deep shit. Oh, man. Ha <laughs> ha, of course we are. Welcome. Say. Man, cops can look come basically anything, huh? They're all so different. Ah. Ah. Now you're interested in our weaponry? Mm-hmm. Yep, talking to Tara got me curious, I guess. Hey. So how did you all get your comps? Well, mine's Model 90 was just a standard issue Yadagasu, Yadagarasu kit. I don't know about that. So vanilla, man. You got some personal touches. Make it yours. No. It's already mine. And I like it the way it is. At this point, I could even dis disassemble the thing and put it back together with my eyes closed. Oh, please. Whereas you, Saizo, appear to have covered your yours in pointless gaudy decals. Man, you don't get it at all, do you? Pointless? Please. Old Tommy here is a custom design and uh, design. Inspired by one of my favorite movies, for your information. Hmm. Huh. And you, what, what about yours, Melody? Well... Mine, it's called Stigma. And it was a gift from my love. <laughs> a memento, huh? Stigma summons a mark of shame and a token of love. All in one. Now that's downright poetic. Hey. I'll bet a comp from Ion would be pretty fancy. Right. Totally, considering it hacked all our comps and roped us into this remote control scheme? Mm hmm Yeah, Tara made it sound like it was a big deal. She said my anti uh my anti kit kit ki kai eh ahem. She actually said my anti kai Thera is an extremely optimized comp. She had a, a lot of questions about it, but since I'm stuck in this humanoid platform, I didn't really have the, any answers for her. 
No idea how it all, how it works. Impressive as ever. Sounds pretty scientific. Sciencey fiction. Sounds pretty science fictiony. Yep. I think Flama put a lot of power into it. Like a trade-off, since our actual bodies couldn't be too advanced. We got we got really souped up, Pump, So to compensate for it. Say. It is it really that cool? Let's take a look. <laughs> sure, just a sec. Got a sec. <clears throat> Don't think I need. Don't think I need to remind you of my policy on weapons here. Ah, uh, oh, right. Yes, we know the rules. Ringo. Put it away, Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yeah. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Hmm. Ah, you're not loud. Welcome. You know, when it comes to demons, a lot of them sure are cute. Be on your guard. Don't be fooled, Ringo. Some of them may look cute, and, not, and a good number of them are friendly even, uh, enough. But the relationship between summoners and demons is really just a contract of employment. Nothing more, nothing less. Right. Yeah, if a summoner's power ain't up to snuff, there's a good chance that they'll be their demon's next meal. Doesn't mean you can't have a favorite, though, as long as you remind, uh, you remember that in the end, it's just, to, it's, they're just tools. Can't get too attached. True. That's why summoners like us get along with their demons so well. We'd be smart to remember that, newbie. You'd be smart to remember that, newbie. Hmm. Well... Hmm. So even though they're just tools to you, you still have favorites, huh? Yeah. Sure. Uh, lots of people got get attached to their first demon. I don't care. I don't bother to remember mine. In fact, I change them out all of the... all of the time. Keep the strong and replace the weak. That's all. There, uh, there, that's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty common. Keeping things strictly professional, never, uh, never a bad way to go. Well, strictly professional? Huh. What would you say about the four of us? Well, I'd say we're not uh, too close, but at the same time, not all that far away, either. Jared, we're just right. Having you as our leader seems to help us. Seems to help, too. Hmm. Then would it kill you guys to listen to me more? That reminds me. Oh, yeah. Guess you are the leader, huh? I kind of remember someone saying that. I don't care. More like she just des uh, decided it would it on her own. That said, I don't care who's leading us as long as it's not me. Welcome. Hmm. Hmm, family, huh? What? What are you going on about? Hey. The part-timer over at Mancha told me about her family. Seems like she really cares about her little brother. I see. Ah, uh, so family's the topic of the day, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we're about... We're your family. What? Uh, what are you... What are your families like? None of you have really ever mentioned them. Well... Well, for me, there's not a whole lot to say. Both my parents died in, in an accident a long time ago. 
the way I see it, Raven and my friends at the orphanage are the most family I've ever had. We might have not been related, but to me, they're all, uh, they're all I could ever want. What? You can call someone family even if they're not related to you? Yes. Sure you can. Married couples aren't related, but they're still family. I see. Oh. Oh, right. Well. Then I wonder if we count as a family. <sighs> Get real. Hmm. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, probably not. Mm. Mm, I guess we don't get along well enough. I, we think pretty different from each other, too. Let me see. Well, it's not like real families get along. Uh, always get along, you know? Huh? They don't? Yeah. No way! I didn't get I didn't get along super well with my parents, really. I was kind of a punk, though I guess you could say that's pretty normal. Melody. What about you, Melody? <laughs> Even though you're tired. I'll, I'll read the next line here in a second, and uh, and 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 Karma might have already made this point, but she lost her family. Her entire village burned down. Did we not remember that from her memories? But whatever. Okay, moving on. Well, I had a strict father and a, mo a kind of mother, and a lot older sister who looked out for me. I'm a re it was a regular family, just like you'd see anywhere else. Sounds like a real nice family. Yes. They were. Honestly. I might not have been the best ter on the best terms with my parents, but I didn't care about them in my own way. I think they felt the same about me. That about sums it up, I'd say. Even if, even if they are related to you, they're still people when you get down to it. You feel annoyed when they're around all the time, but once they're gone, you can't help to think of about them. Mm. So you don't want them around, but you're lonely when they're gone? And you care about them in your own way? Hmm. Hmm, family. Welcome. Whoa! Wow, so these are sakura flowers, huh? They're pretty! Badass, right? Ha! Ah, so you've got... You're an eye... You... Uh, you've an eye for beauty, too? Then, uh, then, huh? Mm. Wow. Ah, so you've got an eye for beauty, too? Then, huh, Ringo? <laughs> Yeah, I only recently just figured that out. Did you know? These are just artificial pla or yeah, artificial flowers for interior design. The real ones are even more beautiful. I'm curious. Oh, I'd like to see them for myself one day. Hey. In fact, during springtime, humans will typically lay out a mat under the sakura tree and eat and drink together, right? Hmm. You're talking about flower viewing, right? Now that I think about now that I think about it, I haven't celebrated it in years. It's not like I've had a whole lot of time to sit down and watch the flowers bloom, you know? Say. Well, how about we go see them to, uh, together sometime? <sighs> For real. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah, why not? Disgusting. You seriously expect a bunch of devil summers to roll out a mat and have a picnic together? I'll pass. Kind of funny thought, honestly. A shame. That's because it doesn't 
fit with our image at all. What? Oh, but I want to see the flowers. I like it. Jeez, you loosen up, you guys. I'd make the... I'd make... Uh, for a good memory. The rest of our memories with Ringo have been, well, pretty brutal. That's true. True, and my first contact was with a corpse. Huh? You're referring to me? It's more like... Considering how you're a kind of an ambassador to humanity for... And, uh, for her and whatnot, it's... I think we ought to show her the fun side of being human, don't you? That's fair. I guess you have a point there. Ability. What do you say, Mildy? Well, I don't know. Can't promise anything in this line of work. You never know what day might be your last. Hmm. Aww. Fine. But I will consider it. We'll see if we're still all still alive when the flowers start blooming again. Yes! Yeah! Don't sweat it! If, if any of you die, I'll just bring you back! Listen. Hey, come on, Ringo. Not funny. Welcome. Okay, that is it. Now, on to the next segment. Actually, no. I'll make the ending of the episode now, because literally that's all that we got time for. Alright. Uh, yeah, that is the video. If, hey, honestly, I don't know what to expect this is a filler episode heavily um but if you did enjoy this episode uh do the stuff on screen if you have any questions and the console or direct discord are a link to that in the description and in our about section as well as the other medias and those same new two locations as they're associated on the left is a recommendation from youtube and on the right is a series of lockers too in its entirety and you might want to catch the next day or two's videos because we're finishing this in the next three episodes and we'll see you next time those shades